All right, so you're trying to get better at scoring and basketball and you're just a beginner, here's a few tips on how to be able to attack the basket. So when you're going to the hoop, the defender's about to cut you off, draw the contact first so you can spin back and you can go up for the shot. So the reason why you want to learn how to create the contact first is when you see and I hit the defender, it makes him go that way. Now that I know that, I can just spin away from him and I'd be in a protective spot and I can go straight for the shot off the glass, which is a very high percentage shot, okay? Also, by being able to hit him, I don't even have to go backwards with the spin. When I initially make the contact with him first, boom, I can actually just follow through the contact and go straight up. Because as I follow through, he has to try to hit back, then come forward, and then he might smack my arm. Now you're finishing through contact with a bucket and you get to shoot an extra free throw, okay? So that's one tip that I think y'all should try to take advantage of is drawing the con causing the contact first. Don't let the defender hit you first because if he hits you first, hit me first, boom. Now I'm throwing off a contested shot or off balance shot and he can still attack his arm and actually now he is in advantage and he blocks it, okay? So remember, you want to hit first, boom. You extend the arm just slightly then you come up with the, the kiss of death off the glass. Let me show you a tip. So you're going to the hoop. You want to draw the contact with a shoulder push, hit him with a pump fake. You can go under and go for a left hand layup or a right hand layup. Or you can go hit him with a contact, go to with the fake and do a spin off the glass with the left hand layup. Or you also have the ability to hit a person with the contact, boom, do a shimmy, and you can do a floater. You can draw the contact, sorry, and go straight into the floater. So the reason why you wanna draw the contact first, it gets you in a better position, be able to attack the hoop and be able to finish. There goes another tip for y'all. So are you trying to get better at attacking the basket, trying to figure out how to create your own shot and finish your contact? So if you beat your player off the dribble, and he's falling along with you, you start making a contact. Oh, you gotta, you gotta get up. You gotta get up and kinda be with me. So you wanna start making a contact. You wanna start driving, hit him with the head fake, hurry him going to the layup, okay? So that slight pause from the head fake, because if you sell the fake earlier, when you make contact, now they're gonna respond more aggressively. They might actually leave their feet or just put their hand up to contest. So you have other options you can work with. Start going, they make contact, you make contact, you can do the head fake, he jumps, reverse it off the glass, I should have made it. So once again, let me go a little faster. Boom, head fake, reverse it off the glass. Also, you got the head fake going straight into a off balance, wrong leg floater. Shout out to Kyrie. So you go to the hoop, make contact, head fake, uh, actually, that was the right leg. So you start going to the hoop, they make contact, head fake, off balance, quick floater. You wanna do the off balance because it gives you just a little bit more time to hurry up and get a shot off. So yes, it might feel unorthodox, uncomfortable, but all it is is the right ball, or the, your right hand, the ball's in the same hand as the same leg you're jumping off with. So it gives you a lot of power, you're not as balanced, but it throws them off too, because they're gonna be jumping off the wrong leg too. But you're thinking about jumping off the wrong leg. You're prepared to jump off the wrong leg. They're not, so it's really gonna mess with them even more. So you're messing, you're using chaos, control chaos for you to throw them off even more for you to get your comfortable basket in chaos. So yeah, throwing the head fake, that's another tip. Word plus game, let's get it. Here's a tip, you wanna go into the post. So you beat someone off the dribble, they cut you off real fast, boom, spin. You can go into the post, cause you can just spin, go off the glass with control. Or if you hit them, I can spin halfway, act like I'm going, he fakes, he goes for the fake, I come back for the spin. So let me show you what I mean. So boom, coming, he cuts you off, boom. Contact. So I'm working in the post. That's me working in the post fast. 
You don't want to work in the post slow unless you beat them off the dribble, they cut you off, you hit them with the shoulder to really get position. You want to be in better position first. You throw it out to your defender or your teammate, and your teammate throws it back to you as you get back out the paint. You can set back up so you won't get to five seconds. You get the ball, you already set yourself up for the post, boom, back them down. Better control, hurt and spin. Get a deeper layup. Beat him off the dribble. Boom, he cut you off. Boom, throw it to your open teammate for the three. Open in the corner. If not, then you throw it to them, they're not open, they'll throw it right back. Once you get it, work from the post. Swing him open, go up for the shot. I can get the ball, open him up, come right away, go for the score. I should have made it. I beat him off the dribble again. Boom, he cuts me off. Boom, hit him with the shoulder. Throw it to my teammate. They throw it right back. I turn, pump fake. He go for the shot. He tries to cut me off again. Boom, I work in the post. Okay, so working in the post allows you to score for yourself, create open opportunities for the, your teammates. So you should learn how to beat someone off the dribble with triple threat and learn how to make the contact and start working on your feet. Learning how to spin one way, spin the other direction, adding pump fakes, head fakes, swing throughs, and you're gonna be able to learn how to finish at the rim. Then we'll cover basketball tips from Word Plus Game. If you like the video, like, comment, subscribe. Check me out, let's get it.